I'm good. Big game tomorrow. Just tell us how you feel about the squad. Uh, I think after the last two performances at home, I think the guys are very locked in and they're ready. So I think hopefully we go out and get a good result. You maybe have struggled to get minutes like, consistently this year, but you were able to get off the bench last time and be a pretty uh, solid contributor. How did it feel to finally get back out in front of the home fans? Oh, it's always great, man. Hartford fans, are, they're unbelievable. So I always appreciate their support, and I hope they continue to support the guys as we go out tomorrow and put in a good performance for them. What's the intensity in training been like this last week, and, and maybe what have been kind of the main focuses? I think the, the main focus is always bring good energy, always compete, compete because there's always spots for grabs, and I think the guys have been doing that. You're one of a small number of players who are back from last season. Obviously, last season was a real struggle at times. What do you see as the main differences between then and now with this group of players? Uh, I would honestly say uh, these guys are younger guys, and I think we got more pace up top, especially, and now I think that we can play more. Tomorrow night, they're going to honor 50 years ago, the Grateful Dead played here. Are you familiar with that band at all, the Grateful Dead? No, sorry. <laughs> what, what kind of music do you like? Uh, I think I get a little bit of everything. It just depends on what's popping at the moment. What would you say maybe uh, in terms of performances, a couple of draws at home that have featured a lot of positives, what's that maybe missing piece that will turn one point into three points? I think it's just the scoring goals. I think we're getting good spots. The team has been defending very well for the last two games. And I also think that, yeah, it's scoring goals. Going up you know, against another team tomorrow in Detroit that's also been having trouble scoring lately. Um, how important is that kind of first goal going to be, do you think? Yeah, I think it would be a key, actually. It would be very key because I think if we get that first goal, like we will start flowing, we'll play more, and I think the guys would be growing very much a lot of confidence. Thank you. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Let's talk big, big match tomorrow night. Tell me what you think about the club right now. Yeah, we're back to the wall mid-season. That's not where you want to be, but we've made a ton of progress. With our last two home games, we've drawn with the two teams that were in the final last year playing for a trophy. So that's, in my mind, that's real progress in terms of the structure of the team, in terms of what we've been able to create on the offensive end. I still have higher hopes for us. I still think we can do more, um, but we aren't giving a lot away when it's 11 v 11. How do you stay patient? You know, the, That's you're it, happy with the, how you progress, but getting the victory is, you know. Yeah, yeah, you have to stay patient, but urgency has to come into it too. Um, and that's something that we're learning this first half of the year as a group. A lot of us have never been in this spot before where we haven't um, gotten the results in the first half of the season that kind of make you comfortable and give you that sense of, uh, sense of stability. So right now, urgency has to be the only word that we're using in our locker room. We have to chase the game. We have to push the game. We have to press everywhere. We have to make sure that this is a frantic environment for them tomorrow. And you, you kind of have mentioned this multiple times, like having to trust each other in this kind of situation. Now you're saying a lot of guys have you know, never really been here. Um, how are the guys reacting to that? I mean, is this something they're having to overcome or is this something they're kind of reacting really well to? How I would think, you assess that? I think they're reacting really well to it. Um, I mean, the, I won't assess the Phoenix game again or the Charleston game again. Just in general, over the first right. half of the season, we've had struggles that a lot of us have never gone through in the game at this level before. So I think the fact that we're stabilizing again midseason and going to come out of it again, that is really important. That shows character. That shows me which guys need to be here next year and, and long after that. You mentioned after the last game, you need to have that third, fourth, fifth guy popping up in the attacking areas, yeah. making those kind of overlapping, overlapping moves. Um, how, how do you make that transition from the idea to the reality on the pitch going forward? It's something that we have to train, and we talked about it yesterday in training, but it's something, uh, one, it's it, it, guys have to put their head down and just go. You know, I said it after the game the other day, but you got to just commit to showing up inside that zone one, inside the six, and untangling yourself from the net is the term that I use. You should be running through the back of the goal when your teammate's in a good service area. And if you're the second guy in, then you can pick your spot. If you're the third guy in, you're arriving late, you're likely to be free. So it really is just a numbers game. And it's it really does just come down to desire, narrowing the front three when we get high and, and get, into the, get into the spot. In terms of rotation, obviously a pretty busy week. It's not the first time you've dealt with this, um, but what 
kind of factor will, will that play into as, as you approach the midweek match? Yeah, there will be a rotation. Um, I try not to ever stray from our process as a staff, as a, as a, a technical staff. We have a belief system, and if we stray from that, then that spells panic on our side. So okay. we're not going to do that. We are going to rotate a handful of guys, um, and we are doing so so that we can approach both games to try to get three points on both games. This uh, club does a great job off the pitch of promoting the game, promoting the fans. Tomorrow night, they're celebrating 50 years of a Grateful Dead show here. Yeah. Do you have a Grateful Dead knowledge at all? Or are you a fan of the band? Not, not too much. I'm a fan of their music, but not too much. I don't know too much about them. I will say that our our front office is phenomenal. They do such a great job of filling this place, and the energy's good. It's It's been so much easier to play at home than it has on the road this year, and that's a sign of a club that's growing, that's going in the right direction. They played like 32 songs, so do you have 32 set pieces that you can break out tomorrow? I wish. <laughs> We're trying to get the first three right, and then we'll build on that. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Great. Okay. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks.